Good morning and welcome to our Benefice Prayers once again from the Rectory. It's a pleasure to have you join me here this morning as we meet in prayer together. Today is Holy Cross Day, a day when we as a church remember the symbol of our faith. Um, the cross, of course, is a symbol that replaced the earlier church Christian symbol of the fish. And um, its origins lie in, uh, or rather its traction, shall we say, throughout Christianity, lie in the activities of Helena, who was a em Roman emperor's mother. She visited Jerusalem, and it's said that during an excavation there, a cross was discovered, and she believed that to be a relic of the cross on which Christ was crucified. And so a basilica was built on the site, and from that day, this Holy Cross Day has been kept in uh, Western Christianity. So we mark and we commemorate the death of Christ today significantly and the suffering that he endured for our salvation. For your personal prayers, therefore, I'd like to invite you to think about all those people who still suffer throughout the world, for those who suffer through loneliness and depression in isolation, for those who suffer physically with their health and their well-being, for those who suffer innocently as a result of abuse, for those who suffer innocently as victims of war and violence. However people suffer, whenever and wherever people suffer, we remember the suffering of Christ and we offer his love and his care to them in their difficulty and in their time of great need. And so on Holy Cross Day, I invite you in your prayers to pray for all who are suffering, um, many unnoticed and unrecognised in our society. And now, um, on a practical note, uh, we will have benefice prayers tomorrow and they will be streamed via Zoom and also via Facebook. If you'd like to join us for coffee, cup of tea, whatever, then please join us on Zoom. I'll put the description and the link um, in with this video once I upload it. But if you'd like to join us for that, please do so. Uh, that will be at 10 o'clock as usual tomorrow morning. Next Monday there won't be benefice prayers because I have a funeral to attend, so my apologies for that, but um, we will have our benefice prayers tomorrow on Tuesday and also on Tuesday next week as normal. And now to those benefice prayers for today. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Almighty God, you fed your people in the wilderness and guided them by cloud and fire, giving commandments to order their lives. Give us eyes to see your purpose, perseverance to follow where you lead, and courage to know the truth that sets us free, that our lives may be blessed and your will may be done. Blessed be God forever. We say together the canticle. <coughs> Jesus, Saviour of the world, come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your life laid down on the cross, you set your people free. We look to you to save and help us. When they were ready to perish, you, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. In the greatness of your mercy, loose us from our chains. Forgive the sins of all your people. Make yourself known as our saviour and mighty deliverer. Save and help us that we may praise you. And when you come in your glory, make us to be one with you and to share the life of your kingdom. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. <clears throat> God speaks through the prophecy of Isaiah. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be afraid, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my victorious right hand. This is my comfort in my trouble. Your promise gives me life. We say together, God the Father, have mercy on us. God the Son, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Let us pray. Be exalted, Lord, above the heavens. May your glory cover the earth. Renew your church in holiness and give your people the blessing of peace. Keep our nation under your care and guide us in justice and truth. Let your way be known on earth, your saving power among all nations. 
Do not let the needy, O God, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Guide those who serve in public office, that they may work for the common good. Shelter those who suffer from hunger, sickness or loneliness, that the presence of Christ may bring them health and wholeness. <coughs> I commend myself and all for whom I pray to the mercy and protection of God. Amen. As our Saviour Jesus Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver, <coughs> deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O God, you know us to be set in the midst of so many and great dangers, that by reason of the frailty of our nature we cannot always stand upright. Grant to us such strength and protection as may support us in all dangers, and carry us through all temptations. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the light of Christ shine in our hearts. Amen. Well, thank you for joining me once again for our daily Benefice Prayers. We will be having Benefice Prayers tomorrow morning at 10am and you're invited to join us either via Zoom or via Facebook, whichever medium you find most um, convenient for yourselves. For your personal prayers today, I'm inviting you to pray for all people who are suffering, uh, many of them unrecognised and unnoticed by society. But for those who suffer in silence, um, I ask you to offer a prayer of intercession on their behalf today. And so I look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning. God bless and goodbye.